All the storms moving through have kind of got the fishing activity a little messed up. A walleye still going at Sherman. Worm harnesses, bottom bouncers using crawlers, trolling crankbaits, a lot of shorts being caught. Uh, so you have to get that tape measure out. Crappie action has slowed down. Bobber minnows and jigs still working the best and probably in shallow water. Glen Elder then, the walleye, still good action. It remains good. Lots of shorts down in Kansas as well being caught. No reports of what they're using as far as catching those walleye. It can be a secret amongst fishermen at times, but I would try crankbaits, maybe the bottom bouncers and crawlers as well. How about white bass? Good action there. Trolling along the dam, and that would be with crankbaits, the South Bluff area and along the State Park shoreline. And then good action on channel cat using a variety of bait, but mainly shad or uh, minnows or even crawlers under bobbers in the rocky areas of the lake and that's always fun this time of year you'll catch some big channel cat doing that down at Glen Elder. Lovewell still trolling crankbaits and that's in shallow water at Lovewell along the state park shoreline and then trolling crankbaits casting rattle traps and even road runners working for the white bass and wipers at Lovewell and Channel Cat, Shad Gizzard, Shad Sides, Chicken Livers with good action still reported. Now a lot of you ask why don't you have reports for this lake or that lake? We can't get reliable reports anymore across Nebraska especially. The Game and Parks used to provide reports but now that ended about six years ago. So the solution is if you fish one lake each and every week and can give me an accurate report, I would love to hear from you. Here's our pictures for this week. Gotta love seeing those young people. Keep sending those pictures my way to kbouton at nebraska.tv. That is the Outdoor Files for this week. Sarah, back to you.